You're live. I'm live? Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, it's Lynn from Ellen J. Goods. Um, I'm in Medina, New York. Snowy, snowy, stormy Medina, New York. Can you hear the snow plows? I can. The dumpster's backing up outside. Um, Megan's here with me, and today we're going to be talking about some of our favorite aging tips and tricks. Ah, fooled you, right? You thought we were going to be talking about anti-aging, and we might, but um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you some really awesome ways to get some very cool aged effects with some of the products that we carry here at the shop. So we'll get started on that once we're, we're live. We are having some phone issues again, or live issues again. Is anybody joining us? Wonderful. Please let us know that you're there and say hello. Is it snowing where you are? We're kind of in the middle of this big winter vortex right now. So, um, oh, there we are. <laughs> you know what, Megan? We're tipped sideways on the um, iPad. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. We, what do you mean tipped sideways? Like when you look at it this way. Oh, we can't get our orientation to go the other way for some so reason. So that's how people are watching us? Yeah, I that's think so. Not... So live issues again. So <laughs> there we are. Our orientation to go the other way for some reason. So that's how people are watching us? And there we are. Okay, really... so forgive us. <laughs> yeah, we are just so technically challenged we really are we're usually good actually we usually we are good it's it's um anyway ever since we started to be more active in in this space so anyway so welcome you guys but wait we're yeah. gonna keep going even though we're sideways where are we sideways on there no 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 actually i'm okay now for some reason i'm looking at my the ipad and we're we're okay Okay, We're that's up and down. I just can't see the comments. Oh, there they are. It's okay. Oh, so um, we have a few local people here. Four inches of snow. You know what? Michigan people, we talked to my brother-in-law last night who happens to be a plastic surgeon. And we'll kind of, we'll drop his name a little bit when we talk about um, all this aging business. And... Um, <clears throat> He usually, like, what happens in Michigan ends up happen happening here because he lives, like, in Grand Rapids and kind of off the shore of Lake Michigan. So, and we live on Lake Ontario. But anyway, crazy weather going on right now. So, um, um, let's see. Marla, hello. Are you and your nurse friends working? Or are you, um... Do you have the day off? Hi, Sue. There's our friend Sue. Grandma's so, here. Grandma's there. Hi, Mom. Oh, my gosh. My mom is actually in, uh, she's in Louisiana right now with my brother and sister-in-law and family there. So we she's going to be away for a few weeks. But so anyway, let's get this party started. Um, you know, I love taking plain old new stuff and trying to make it look old. We use um, a lot of different techniques to do this. So here's an example. This is um, a way back when workshop. This is a board and you can see this texture right here. This I achieved by using a texturing powder called Fresco. Um, I love this, man. I love to like layer it up with all different colors and stuff and you can get a very cool boho look or plastery, chunky, just lots of cool layers. So I have one prepped. I should have put that aside, right, Megan? And I've, um, I don't know why, but I'm always drawn to this sagey lichen green um, for my base layer. Can we, can we hear the, uh, <laughs> we can hear the, the dumpsters out there. What they do is in our little village, they plow they fill, they take a loader and they fill big dump trucks and then they dump it into the canal and along the side of the canal. So um, that's what's happening out there. So this is Fresco and this is um, a powdered agent that you can add to paint to get a variety of effects. I like to use it to get a chippy effect. So I've just added it to my, this is Fusion Mineral Paint. And I've added it to that, and I always say mix it to kind of like brownie batter, you know. Um, 
you want lumps. We're looking for texture. So this is it. All right, and I'm gonna take an old brush and as I lay this on, I'm laying my undercoat. I'm not, I don't have to be perfect with this, but you can see how I'm using a light touch and kind of spreading this on. But the minute I apply pressure, you see what happens? It gets rid of the lumps. We want these lumps. Think brownie batter, think texture. And you'll see why when we're done. But um, I love this finish like for the back of a sign. I've used it on furniture. Um, actually, there's a piece up front, Megan, a, a, a little china hutch, display hutch that I did this on. And we should walk up there and show them in a second or two. So um, I'm gonna apply this first layer and you can see it's very lumpy, textury. I got brush strokes, but I want that. Today, I was kind of inspired by this old building. And if you walk upstairs in this building up on the second and the third floor, there are just layers. There's layers of like um, old plaster and paint and in some rooms like little bits of leftover um, wallpaper and it's just really cool. I love, love, love that look. I'm going to set this aside and we would let that dry completely. So uh, what I did here is this is a dried piece and I just took another um, contrast color. You can pick whatever you want. I used a little bit of seaside and I just brushed it here and there, okay? Just brushed it here and there. Whatever color you want, you could have pink, you, you can do anything. I will remind you, because we do sell three different kinds of paint here, three different types of paint. Um, Fresco works with the Fusion Mineral Paint. This does not work with milk paint. It makes it a really weird consistency. Um, I haven't tried it with Debbie's DIY, but I'll have to. I'll have to try that. So um, anyway, here's, um, here's my, my um, lichen green layer. It's got lots of bumps. You might not see them now, but that's all gonna show up in a little bit. And I've added a little bit of contrast color here and there. I didn't wanna go too crazy because I wanted it that very plastery look. So my next color that I'm gonna use, this is putty. This is kind of the color of plaster. So um, I'm just gonna lay this over the top. It's kind of like, you know what we say, Megan? It's like makeup. You apply it. You apply the stuff underneath. Like, what are some things we put underneath our makeup? Help you me out. You don't even girl. want me to. <laughs> Megan has like a 20-step um, makeup. No, not makeup. <laughs> I have a skincare routine. Yeah, so that yes. I don't have to wear a lot of makeup. It's true. It's true. Um, actually, my mom, who's watching, we are kind of blessed with awesome skin in our family for the most part, right? Mm -hmm. We take good care of it because... Um, she has beautiful skin, even at the age of 84. It's gorgeous. And she kind of stayed out of the sun, which we didn't do. Um, I'd have. Did you when you were younger, though? Yes, I didn't lay out like you and Katie. Oh, I was gosh. never a layer outer. I think, you know, stop judging us. Well, I'm just, <laughs> stop saying we. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Wait a minute. Telling everybody I, I wear roof. 20 layers of makeup <laughs> and I lay and I was, was in the All sun. Right, fine, fine. I may have laid out a few times as a teenager, but not I, at any point. I think so. Since I I've, think you have. No. Didn't you guys used to lay out on the rooftops? May, I Maybe once or twice Katie used to always lay out on my roof. Oh my gosh. Um, hi, Lori. Lori's uh, down in Attica. So um, Lori's coming to a workshop soon. I can't wait. So, okay, I'm gonna dry this real quickly. I know we don't like the hair dryer thing, but that's all I can do. So yeah, we, um, earlier this week, I don't know, I feel like we just, maybe you first and then me, started on this deep dive into anti-aging right? And well, it's a sore subject because yes, you just went down this path this week, but I have been trying to talk to you about it for like two years. I understand. Okay. <laughs> so I've come around. Yes. I have. 
And um, actually, I may I set a goal for myself in 2020 that I was going to take better care of my skin. So um, it's a great way to nurture yourself. You know, it really is. And Megan, thank you for that because, you know, I always have so much going on in such a big hurry to do everything and all the things and working and then getting home and. You know, I'm going to confess, there are nights I just went to bed with no makeup on. With no makeup With makeup on. on. I hope I'm you sorry. go to bed every night with no makeup on. I know. That's, that is a dirty little secret about me, but I don't do that anymore. That's good. I have been removing my makeup every night, and I got some really nice products to use. So um, I found, like, the Retin-A. It was a little too harsh for me, so I got some Retinol from my sweet brother-in-law out in Michigan. And we're just, we're following a nice routine. And I like it. Actually, I really, I do. I enjoy that, you know, five, ten minutes at night just going through the step. Like just applying serums and, and, and nothing real complicated, but I really like it. So, actually we're going in the opposite direction here today. I was thinking that it's like you're adding texture where you want to get rid of texture with skincare and then we're covering it up with more paint, which is the opposite. Yeah, it's all the opposite. We want to do less, yeah. like painting of our faces, yeah. right? There's so many like analogies we can use. Yes. But as far as my furniture and all this stuff, I, lo I love it. It's aged and crusted looking as I can get it. What I don't want is my face to look cracked and chippy. No, you want to look young sitting next to your furniture. Yes. You want your furniture to flatter you so that when you sit next to it, you say, oh my gosh, she looks so, oh, young, she looks so young next, next to, to that old buffet. Horrible old chippy buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Penny said she loves how your lemon pie sign turned out. This is actually going to be a workshop coming up in March. And you'll get to learn how to do this cute technique as well. Oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about. I swear, we have so much to talk about. So many things to announce and so much going on. Okay, so I have now, this is dried. So now what I want to do, this is like the magic of fresco. Um, I'm going to take a sanding block. And as I sand this back, I'm going to get not only like little bits of plaster dust here, but you're going to start to see some of that underneath texture and color start to come through. Man, I do love this. But see how like there's that, you get those little chunks of white where I had those chunks of fresco. Just so cool. And I painted kind of haphazardly. So we're just gonna kind of go with this. We're gonna see, see where this goes. Because half the time, I don't know. But I'm not afraid to try. What's the worst that can happen? I can paint over this, right? But all of that texture from the fresco underneath is going to reveal those subtle colors from underneath. See that? That's where the fresco was. And then those little pops of white here and there. So um, that's what I want. This kind of reminds me of that, that old plastery look upstairs. I'm gonna actually, um, I still have some, this was putty that I used. I still have some in my brush. I'm just gonna mix it with a little white and I'm gonna streak over this. I probably could have done this before I painted, but um, this is just a cool way to get an old textury, wonderful look. So yeah, I think, um, <laughs> I think kind of what started me really thinking about this is, was it before Christmas? I had a, a friend come in. <laughs> Barb, I hope you're not watching. Or I mean, <laughs> Um, uh, 
Janice. Janice, I hope you're not watching. No. But um, the funniest thing happened. We're going to let this dry a little bit more. I'll dry it and then I'll tell you my story. Just a very light dry brush of that pink mix is going on here. Have any other comments or things that we need to address? Okay, and I'm going to sand over this layer as well, and I'm just going to bring up, kind of melding all of that together. Love it. And so the cool thing is, like, I'm getting a lot of that dust from the paint here, but if I take, you know, like a damp cloth or a baby wipe, and I wipe this back, you can really see that texture and the layers once you remove that, that little layer of dust. See that? Okay. So what I wanted to do with this, um, upstairs, awesome little bits of um, crusty old peeling wallpaper upstairs. It's so much fun to find those. Um, I know when they were working on Ben's Opera House, I was over there one day. Um, this was back before the contractors were there. And if I'd find a little piece of old wallpapers, like, can I please have just a little piece of this? Cause I just, I love it. And when we we're in the building next door, same thing. Although I didn't take any pieces from there, I photographed a lot of them cause they're, they're just so beautiful. Um, that old wallpaper is incredible. I try to pick up rolls of it whenever I can, but today I thought we're going to use wallflower, of course. Um, Wallflower is truly one of our favorite IOD. And I'm going to cut this up because I'm going to be using this on another project that I'm working on downstairs. And I, I don't want all of it. I'm, I kind of have some different things going on with that dresser. So I don't mind cutting this apart and using little pieces of it. I think I'll take this too. I love this because it, um, Josie and Sally designed it so that you've got this main pattern here and then all of the outsides can be cut apart and you can slide them out to, um, to fit like say on a dresser front and, and make it kind of fit the size that you, um, that you have. So that's all I'm going to use. The rest of it I'm putting aside for downstairs. So anyway, um, back to my story. <laughs> Talk about aging. So I saw a friend that I hadn't seen in a long time. We actually used to, we, we attended church <laughs> together. What? It's just so funny. <laughs> it's a funny story, yes. And um, <laughs> I worked in ministry for a while and... Um, and this friend was also a part of that ministry and I just love her dearly. I really do. So we hadn't seen each other in a long, long time and she was in the area visiting. So she popped in the shop and we gave hugs and happiness and all those wonderful greetings. We were so happy to see each other and we, and we just kept looking at each other like, wow, I can't believe that we're like right here. Like I'm seeing you again for the first time in like 10 years. And she kind of looked up close to me and said, oh, oh dear, Lynn, what, you have scars around your lips, what happened? <laughs> I, I thought, do I paint on my face? What's going on? And I went into the bathroom, which I was right next to the bathroom. I looked in the mirror and I came out, I'm like, Barb, seriously? Those are wrinkles. <laughs> they are wrinkles. She was like, oh, no. <laughs> but she got them so close. Oh, my gosh. It was the best thing ever. No, I, we that's laughed. the worst. I know. We did get a good laugh out of it, though. But let me tell you what I started thinking about. Um, <laughs> hmm, maybe I do want some fillers. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe I need to start seriously thinking about Maybe stop taking smoking. my makeup off at night. I've never smoked <laughs> in my life. I haven't. But I guess this just happens, you know? So, um, <laughs> oh my word. It, it was kind of one of those moments, like, when you see a woman who 
you wonder if she's pregnant, but you're not quite sure if you she's just pregnant. Don't you just say don't it. say anything. It's but better in this case, she was concerned. So you can't blame her. <laughs> best it really was so i'm taking wallflower and i am burnishing this on um just this one little just corner. like you burnished creams all over your lips i bet that <laughs> night when you went home actually I, i've been burnishing with a derma roller <laughs> at this point i'm ready I'm, I'm willing to do anything have you ever considered those wax lips like you get a halloween <laughs> just wearing those <laughs> They're so full and voluptuous. Oh my gosh! Please, are we are we the only ones laughing about no, this? No, someone because else. Is it was laughing. hysterical. Uh, Debbie was a sun goddess. California girls use cocoa butter and baby oil. Oh my gosh, Marla, we used Sounds to delicious. we used to mix iodine with baby with um, baby oil. Somebody's coming up the back. Right up. So we are burnishing the sun and hello. Oh hi! Good, we're doing. Okay, we're we're doing a Facebook live right now. Do you want to come and you want to come and try a transfer? No, oh, trust me, we are very inappropriate. We literally were like, oh, we'll do this today because no one will be in. No, we've been playing shopping for a week. Good for you. Nothing can stop you. Well, Jr's in his office. Oh. So, um, yeah, we used to lay out in the sun with baby oil and iodine slathered all over. Iodine? Like, iodine. <laughs> Why? Because maybe... Cause Wait, it, really? I'm serious. Yes. Isn't iodine like blood red? Yeah. What in the I world? I don't know. But you know so that you can't, us? So that you can't tell when My you get My Aunt Eleanor taught us to do that. Oh, I can imagine yeah, that. cool. Mm -hmm. She has about the worst skin tone to be... Oh, my gracious. Well, out. probably because of all that iodine. No, but she has, like, pale... Yeah, she very pale skin. Actually, really like, fair. beautiful, pale, yeah. freckly skin. So, yes. Um, iodine. So, one of the other things that I've been doing kind of crazy about, Megan and I both, we've been going down the street to our friend Rose, who has Lux um, body sculpting. And I've been getting like the anti-aging facials, the cryo facial, the yeah. cryo facial. I love it. Look it up. It's it's really awesome. I'm so excited that she's here in town because you literally have to go to either Toronto or New York City to mm -hmm. get these treatments. And they and it's like kind of like cool sculpting, but it's different. Well, you can't do cool. You can't use a cool sculpting machine on your face because exactly it doesn't do both warm and cold temperatures. Right. So let's um let's throw this on. Here. Oh, Marla said the iodine iodine t darkened your skin like a fake tan. Yes, that's what I think. But also probably made it harder to tell if you're burning. Oh, for sure. Well, and then, and then we would sit next to the pool. So, you know, anytime you would even get the sensation that you're starting to, like, overheat or... You just um, got in the pool. We just got in the pool. And so, oh, it was just bad all the way around. Bad, bad, bad. Luckily, so. around here, there's, like, very limited time. It, that's true. During the year. Then we, it that is true. You can actually do that. But um, I'll tell you, my husband, JR, on the other hand, worked outside. He had a landscaping business for many years. And that man was outside all summer long. And he has had and some... And spring and fall. And spring and fall. And he has had some issues to show because sunscreen ever use sunscreen but like we noticed with jr it's not just when you're outside it's even when you're in your car like you'll that notice side. that side of your face will get more sunspots exactly. you need to wear sunscreen even in when you're driving well yeah we had a there was a little we had a little bit of a concern that he had some like precancerous lesions you know and when you after you apply the transfer you want to burnish it take a soft cloth and really make sure that that's rubbed down um, but anyway, he, um, yeah, there were, there were some areas of concern and his brother, the plastic surgeon, who is also very fair skinned, had just done a chemical peel, which was kind of like a chemotherapy peel, I guess. Um, anyway, so JR's been doing that and we've seen, ugh. <laughs> 
it's it it attacks like those bad cells and um, brings issues to the surface and literally is like resurfacing his skin. It's crazy, but like in an extreme way. Yeah, pretty extreme. Like, and he's about half. Scott he looks told, good. Actually, he does. I think he looks really good, but. Um, there were some days that he really didn't want to come out. There were some public. dark days. There were some dark, <laughs> dark and peely days. <laughs> but he's never stayed home for one day. No, he's worked. He's worked in the basement. He's I knew been he working. wouldn't. Yeah, I knew he never would be able to stay home. I know it's true, right? He had big plans. Yeah, big plans. His big plans are to stay home. Yeah. So here's another one of my favorite aging techniques for these transfers. Um, they do have built-in distressing. Many of them do. But I like to, especially with this texture going on behind them, I am going to just with a very soft or uh, um, worn sanding block, I'm going to sand right over these. And look at now how that texture comes up and through. See that? How it comes up and through, which is really Desperately awesome. Desperately trying to follow that finger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my wrinkly. Yeah, what I haven't been doing is putting stuff on my hands, which are a dried mess. So here we go. And that, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. And it really makes your transfer kind of become part of the background. How pretty would that would be on a on a dresser or like a side table but all those little areas of, of um fresco are popping up through as i sand and i want this faded this reminds me of the wallpaper upstairs it really does so that's another little aging technique that i like to use i sand my transfers so then what I'm going to do is um, let's add some, some other texture with some fusion stamps. Crackalore is one of my faves. Are you going to add any words to this? Well, I might later. I might that just would say, like, don't forget to wash your face. I was going to say, or you're only or, as old as you feel. Yeah, something like that. Things like that. Yeah. Um, Age is nothing but a number. Right, exactly. Um, so I'm going to use some ink now with this. this Just is... wash your face would be cute. <laughs> it actually. would be, yeah. This is, um, this is my IOD stone gray. Okay. I've poured it into one, or into one of my ink pads here. This is the Crackalore stamp. And this is Distress. So I, um, I cut them up because I find them a little more manageable, and plus I use them for workshops that way. Debbie asked, what are the products used? Are you, is there a particular one you're asking about, or just all of them that we've used so far? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to add some of this crackly texture. I'm going right over my stamp, and I'm not... She just lightly tickles it with her fingers. Very light touch with this. So this ink is permanent, and I'm choosing the light gray because I think it, it blends in, it softens in a little bit more. But I'm just here and there. There it is. Wow, a lot of activity it's like going a on. Full blown there. party is going. Seriously, <laughs> I oh expected no one. In. Um, actually, let's try. Let's try a piece of the uh, distress. distress. Yeah. We don't use that very often. No, I don't. We should. I actually used it here, which is a very cool look. Debbie said she missed the beginning. She's just wondering what we used from the start. Oh, gosh. We used, um, we were using Fusion Paint and Fusion Fresco. That's the bottom layer, mm -hmm. basically. Oh, look at that. And then we used, <sighs> a, this is Wallflower Transfer. Yep. I and used some different colors of Fusion Paint. And we'll link all of them, um, but now I'm just I'm using Crackalore and um, Distressed stamp. But man, I kind of, see how that becomes. It really does give it even more aged look. I'm actually gonna use because I kind of like the way that looks. I'm not pressing the entire thing. I'm just here and there randomly. adding 
that texture. Now, another cool trick, actually, I'm gonna give you a little freebie because this is in one of our uh, video tutorials that our paid videos uh, workshops, which we have three of them launching coming up um, starting next week. And um, like once you get, if you get your um, ink on there, you can just take a baby wipe if it's too dark for you and you can wipe it back and it just softens, kind of lightens it up a little bit. But man, that has got some great old texture to it. It does remind me of those walls upstairs. You're fine. <laughs> really cool so that so the ink has just started to set and i'm coming over it with the wipe and gently wiping it away so that i'm softening this stamped distress and crackalore you just think it kind of makes it blend into the background a little bit more but i have you know i've stamped right over top of my my um, wallflower transfer too, and it's great. I'm just gonna give this a quick shot. actually now use a couple of different waxes. This is just a white wax. Um, we have it in uh, Miss Mustard Seed. We've got Debbie's DIY. Um, and I just want kind of, and, it, and the white wax is gonna give it like that dusty, that kind of dusty look here and there. But it's all this extra stuff that you do that can really like make your piece pop. Um, hmm. What do you need? A paper towel. Just dry. What is that? A dry one. Yeah. And you know it's not super obvious right here, but I'm telling you, once all of the layers are complete, it it really does like show off nicely. What kind of board are you using? Here? This is just a plywood board. Okay. Just plain, look at, brand new, old, old. as the hills. This is, um, this is an antiquing or an aging wax or a black wax you can use. And I'm just gonna come in and add some of this wax here and there, the darker wax. I don't want the whole thing done, but just here and there. Look at that. And what it's doing, the wax then um, kind of picks up the texture of the fresco. Let me see if I can show you like right over in here. Kind of picks up the texture of that fresco. See that? And settles into that texture, which is really cool. If I wanted to, I can highlight a little bit more here and there with the white wax. So many different ways. And then like another fave is, this is Decrepit Dust by Debbie's DIY. I would take a really, really soft little brush. This is just a powdery dirt, basically. Um, and I'm just gonna add this. And, and this just gives even a little more, a few more areas of just crustiness and age that kind of settle into. And you would always use that over a wax? You don't have to, but I, th I think it performs nicely over a wax. So how else could you use it? You couldn't, I mean, would you put it in paint? No, you don't put it in paint. You always use it as a like finish. A, yeah, okay. as a little finish. So, but look at, see how it, I think it, it can kind of just add that extra layer of aging with a little bit of a different look. Come back with 
my towel and kind of buff that out a little bit. But man, that really does look old and gross, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, this would be an off. This would make an awesome sign. Yes. Like just, you know, stencil or stamp something in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys, we, uh, this is just all about. Did you still want to show a cabinet up front? Sure, that you we'll talked do that. About? But, um, hey, let's talk about one other thing for a second. And, and that we, um, well, I just mentioned it, but um, we're going to be launching three new um, virtual workshops on they our website. They should all be out by the end of February, right? Yeah. yeah. Ellen Got Jacobs. Three really high level of technique, some really awesome projects that um, will teach you just as if you were at one of our workshops. High level of technique, but anybody could do them. Absolutely, absolutely. We, I just walk you right through everything. Um, we're also going to make available some accessory kits to go with those, and um, that'll be kind of fun. And um, really fun. Yeah. So you get to try some of the products, or you don't have to, but um, we'll make it easy for you to do yes. that if you would like to. For sure really cool i like it i like it a lot yeah um what else megan what else do we have to say about the workshops oh we just launched our february calendar if you're local with incredible like some really awesome workshops actually a couple of them have sold out already so check your emails um or just go to ellenjgoods.com under workshops and you can register right there online you can read all the descriptions so um, that said, uh, I am going to be um, posting on Instagram shortly another project that I've been working on, and I'm very excited because I just um, finished my first piece using a blended technique with paint, and I'm so happy and proud that we are going to be um, retailers of Debbie's DIY paint. So again, we love our fusion. We love our Miss Mustard Seed. We love Debbie's DIY. And they are three different paints for three different finishes and three different effects and uses for all of them. So we're super excited to be able to offer that here. And if you're on Instagram, pop over a little bit later today and you'll see that first project that I finished um, using Debbie's DIY and Iron Orchid. So, um, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Oh, let's show you. We can show you up front if you want to follow. Mm -hmm. And check this out. This was a plain, this was plain black, and it's been sitting here. I used some leftovers. Is that Japonica? It is. It's parts so of Japonica. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And, oh, here's the piece I was talking about. So this is just layers of, layers of fresco in different colors. And I just, I created all of that texture in this piece right here. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Love it. Um, do we still have people watching? Yeah. Do, does anybody want a little walkthrough? A real quick little walkthrough? Of course. They do. Okay. So, um, yeah. We're, we're starting to really transition over to spray and um, bringing up some awesome pieces. We, you know what? We have about, we found about five crate like things like this. Oh, okay. Cool stuff. Look at her. They have Love. Them. We've been stocking up on some really fun Valentine's stuff. Oh, okay. I'll make sure. Aww. But yeah, we should do a fun little quick Valentine project next week. Don't get too close, Megan, because we don't want to see. <laughs> Oh, 
but yeah, some yeah. fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, what else do we get to show? <laughs> We're almost done. Almost. We are. We're still live. These. These are new, <laughs> and they are awesome. Yeah, I'm wearing one. Dead. I'm actually wearing one today. I need to get one. I, I want the, the pizza one. Lover. This is the Animal Lover. We have pizza pie. Yeah, these mugs are cute that we just yeah, got. Yeah, we just got these. But they They're could like almost good. be used as like a bowl for oh, soup. Oh, cereal soup. I love yep, them. Yeah, the brand mug. We've got Sugar Honey Darling Sweetie, and we've got Mother, Father, Teacher, Friend. And we have some animal ones, too, which is Mm -hmm. All the new Sugar Boo with some new designs and some of our old favorites of the mugs. We just got these in yesterday. Mm -hmm. So lots of fun stuff. All right. So I guess that's it. And um, you guys. Linda, um, you can get that shirt on our website under Ellen J. Goods Favorites. Yes. And there's a few other designs as well. Yep. Really, really cute. They One that just says, has a pizza slice, tacos, and pie. And pie. And I just saw that they're making aprons now. That That's have cute. That's just pie and pizza. And this one is, an, uh, it's a heart, but they're all different animals. Animal lover, animal phrases. Yeah. A yoke of oxen, an army of caterpillars. I like a drift of crabs. Yeah, so super cute. They, I think they're large and extra large, but they, I'm wearing a large. They're meant to be like. But it's a little oversized, so. Cozy um, and oversized, yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Um, we did that uh, crusty, lovely, crackly, old-aged yeah. finish. Um, the, the finish that we want to avoid on our faces. Yes. So um, let us know if you have any other questions. We'll go back and answer any of them and we'll put some links in so that you can um, go directly to our website and see what products we use. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and stay safe.